possibly the most fiddly, I won't say worst, fiddly vacuum I've done in a while. It's complete. What am I on about? The Panasonic MCE 42N is ready for me to show you what it looks like now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums! You right? This is done! This is Mr. James's Panasonic. His mum probably had one, or his aunt, or his neighbour, because Mr. James only likes cleaners that he has had experience of. And this is what he gave to me to fix. Now if you remember way back when, when we first saw it, it was a mouldy, horrible mess. And it got a bit worse when I was taking it apart because it seems it's first big a mouldy horror mess. It had had something I want to say something spilt on it. It was covered in like a greasy substance, which was rotting the plastic. It quite a lot of it fell apart when I was taking it apart, and not because I broke it, because it was already cracked. So this has had a lot of glue <laughs> on it to keep it in this state now. Luckily, most of it is hidden. In fact, the only things you can see are the top parts of, where are we looking? There's a small crack there, and in the middle there. And also, oh, can't drop it because it will disintegrate. All under there was all smashed, as are actually all the, yeah, there's a crack there. Basically, it was pretty terrible. Pretty <laughs> terribly. Luckily, it likes Cubon, so now it is okay. And it's all done. All looks very nice now, works very well. Mr. James said I can keep the MK plug that was on it because it's not really the right age and he's not fussed about those sort of things. We like a good MK because I can fit it to a vintage machine to finish it off. So we have an um, Laco. Laco? Do people like plugs on this channel? Am I showing you all these for no reason? Please do say and I'll stop. If you like them, we shall carry on. So, yeah, it is it is now very clean and very shiny. Although, we still need to fit a bag and whatnot. In fact, I'll put... I do need a little bit more gluing. Because there is still a crack there. That that That's come from nowhere. This whole thing is weird. Glue that up. It's probably, it, it shouldn't go anywhere because this top bit will stop it. But yeah, this, this is a very fragile machine. I, I've, I've never seen one like it before. That's why I think it's had something spilt on it. Because uh, you, you see these quite a lot, I'll be honest. This is, in my eyes, this is nothing rare or exotic. This is just a good vacuum cleaner. Reliable. I would have said robust, but you know. They, they just go on forever and ever and ever and ever. And they are not bad. You get, unlike most machines today, a full set of tools. Obviously, the old scabbard tool and the extension wand and a proper dusting brush and a proper upholstery brush sat at the back. So, yeah, Panasonic did give you a good bang for your buck. But we have a little bit more to do because... We've got the box of bits, or the bag of bits, still to assemble onto it to finish it off. So we best do that now, then we can test it out. And I'll leave you like that, because obviously the first thing, as you noticed, is that there is no bag fitted. A couple of options. Could HEPA flow it. These HEPA flow really well, but I don't think we will, because we have bags. We have these lovely pattern bags. No. But we also have these genuine bags. We have a choice between the Type U2R, which is what these are, U2R, or the U20AB, which are the 
antibacterial bags. I think we'll fit one of these, not only because they are antibacterial and a bit fancy, but because these are open-ended, oh, can't see that way, these are open-ended, I need a bag slide. Um, there isn't actually a bag slide in here, so it would be a bit of a pain I have to find one. So, we shall fit a genuine antibacterial vacuum bag to this Panasonic. We have to break its... I'll try and do it without being too rude for my younger viewers. We've got to break its seal. Got away with that. And we can fit it in. Well, actually, before we do that, this is the pre-motor filter. I washed this. It still smells... Well, it's just rather G101 now. I think we do, yes, we do. We do have another one actually, but it's just as clean. So I think we'll put this one back in. Put that in the spares pile so we can give Mr. James some nice, well sorted spares. So that goes down there and just tucks into the bottom. The bag, got to fold the top down and it just pushes over the bag fill tube like so. We need another filter though, because obviously we need one for this. That, that didn't wash up as well. So if I scurry through this bag, we can see that we have a genuine electrostatic post motor filter. Be a bit rude to not fit this genuine electrostatic post motor filter, wouldn't it? So it sits in there. Well, that doesn't sit in there, does it? It sits on here. I've, I've just seen the retaining pegs that this filter pushes onto. If I can do it with my fat, chubby fingers. And there's the first two. And here are the second two. There we go. So we now have a Gen Uine filter. Marvellous. It looks a bit nicer from the front as well because it looks all pure and white. Marvellous. Well, what else do we have? Oh yes, we need to fit these quickly because Mr James asked me if I could. So, we shall bring you down and get these on. Just need to remove the screws. Now this hood is actually, was the most difficult part of this whole build because it, it was very cracked. As was, if you remember, the base plate. I didn't feel, well, I did film myself drilling out this very screw that I am undoing, but then I lost the footage and had to reshoot the whole thing. Because that screw was seized right on but we now have where is it it's all glued up that came up very well glued the front back together a bit careful for that because I, I did snap that after I glued it bit annoying while we are down here well we need to take the brush run out anyway so here is the brush run we do have a spare brush run but It is a little bit stiffer. It's a bit stiffer, but well, filthy for a start. Because <laughs> I didn't wash it. Because I washed this one. It's also got a slightly different design on the end cap, so we shall stick with the one that I've washed. I want to check the belt actually, because we do have another belt. And it's it's a little bit smaller, but I don't think it's worth changing. I think we may as well put this in with the bags as a spare. We'll keep this belt. What we will do though is turn it inside out. That way, it's a little bit worn on the outside. A bit of a bodge for belts if you haven't got a new one in stock. You can flip it over and it puts a nice shiny side in contact 
with everything else. So if we open up this packet, take off the cello tape. I need a cloth to smash. Oh, where did I have a cloth? This one will do, just to wipe the dust off. To match the clean machine. I think these are, these are second hand. And then, they just sort of slot in somehow. Although I'm not entirely sure how. Oh, there we go. I think that's right. I've never actually fitted these before. So they're in. I have to see how the base plate goes on. That'll be the key, because I think part of it does get clamped in with the base plate. So obviously these were an aftermath, these were an afterthought for this generation. They, they didn't originally come with it. Then I know some sort of lawsuit happened because I vaguely remember it being in the news when I was very, very little. Some kid got his fingers caught in the edges or you know time marched on and they thought that you had to have it. And it was fitted. Let's get the belt. There we go, off there. Oh, it's all come out now. That is on there. It doesn't look especially fantastic, but I've never, I've, yeah, I don't have much experience with these end caps, so we'll just assume it is okay until it is proven otherwise that it is not. God, it's such a Fiddly sod. Come on, you were in there perfectly. Why are you now not in there perfectly? What's going on? There we go. And I'm hoping that this just closes down and clamps everything in place it is, I think. It's this, oh, it comes. It's this side that's been the pain. It keeps moving. Let me pause and try and get these fitted. And then we'll come back. Well, they're fitted, just. I'm not, they, I, I think it'll work. They, they don't seem to sit properly until the base plate's on and clamping them into place. And I found the manual, and obviously it doesn't mention how to fit them, just that they are there. So, who knows too much. We shall just assume it is okay, but yeah, we're done. It's here. It's also plugged in, does it work? No. This little 650 watt motor turning ferociously and providing some suction. Shall we see how it vacuums the carpet? I don't quite know why he wants to use it on this setting really. It doesn't, it's not doing anything now. Although the brush rod is turning. It's very vacuum though.
And I don't know if it's rattling because of these end caps. Take them out and see if it still rattles. They're now been moved. Those end caps, I'm not sure if it's machine. It's supposed to have to be there. So this is an MC42M. And these manuals start at the 44M. So wouldn't surprise me if it was just the wrong generation to have these end caps. But it is all done. Working well. So there we go. One Panasonic MCE 42M. A stable of the 1990s vacuum cleaner world. These were everywhere because they were quite cheap really. And they're very good for being a cheap machine. We'll give it that. Have a nice healthy packet of spares to go with it. To go back. The bag hasn't fallen off. It probably hasn't picked up anything really yet from that small little demo. There is some sand in the bottom of there, so yeah, it, it's pulled something up from our test carpet. Not gonna bother doing an agitation test or anything because this, this doesn't have agitation this is the problem with these they are very good cleaners but they're not deep cleaners if you know what I mean which you should do because you're watching my channel now so there we are one Panasonic all done all ready to go back home not mouldy anymore it's been polished and waxed and looking lovely once more I just need to put a little drop of glue on that crack that I've just noticed to stop it from opening out but I shall do that another day so thank you very much for watching and I not this Panasonic but I shall see you soon bye bye